Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and I hope you all are doing good, preparing well for your exam. So take your pen and notepad. Now we are going to solve June 2005 question paper of English literature. Friends, my motto of solving question paper from 2004 is just that when we solve question paper one by one, step by first 2004, 2005, 6, then we come to know that how the questions are changing, how the pattern are changing, how that they are keep on changing. Some questions are same, but the method of asking the question is changed. So that we are going to analyze today. And as we completed 2004, you see all you all have seen in 2004, there is no match. There is no, there is not a single chronology question. Only there was a statement question and there were four options. We have to select one. Objective questions was there. Now, when we come to 2005 question paper, there are up to 20. Up to question number 20, 1 to 20, there are simple questions where they have given a one question and four options. But when we go to question number 21, from question number 21 to question number 30, there is a chronology order. See how the pattern changes. There is a, in one year gap, see, you can see the change of pattern. See, so 2021 to 30 is their chronology. And when we move to 31, 31 to 40, there is match the fall. Select the matching pair. What is select the matching pair up to question number 40. So uh, up to question number 40 is there select the matching pair. And when we come to 41, 42, 43 and 45, these questions are related to poetry and poetries and uh, devices, literary device in this poem used. And when we come to the question number 45, from 45, there is a comprehension. What? 45 to 50, there is a comprehension, there is a passage, there is a passage about John Dryden and we have to solve this uh, by reading the passage. So, now I think now you come to know that how question paper has been changes. So, let's start from question 1. Let's start solving from question 1. I think you understand what is the my motto behind it. Uh, many people say me that ma'am why you are not solving 2018-19 uh, these are the recent questions pattern has been changes but if we will go through direct means friend I think you know now we are the net student known to unknown we go to known to unknown so let's start first question is what is the first question you all can see the first question is The nun priest tale had its origin in. So, uh, nun priest tale, it is in Canterbury. So, it is originated from. So, the French Roman de Renard. It is taken from the French Roman de Renard. The nun priest tale of. The nun priest tale. The nun priest tale of. 24, 24 stories. The Nun Priest Tale of the 24 Stories in Canterbury Tale by Geoffrey Chaucer. The Nun Priest Tale is based on the medieval type, medieval tale of Rayan the Fox, common to French, Flemish, and German literature. So, so we come to know that Nun Priest Tale has been originated from the French, the French Roman de Renard. And other options are very useless so i didn't mention them only now we have to learn in this that it is taken from medieval tale of renard and this story belongs to fox common to french okay now second question is very important second question the first folio of shakespeare's play appeared in 1623 learn this question as it is learn 16 we learn this question as it is the first Folio of Shakespeare plays appeared in. It appeared in 1623. And friend, if I tell you about Shakespeare, then it will be very bad for me that I am telling to net student about Shakespeare. But my, but my many other videos there, I have been discussed about Shakespeare. So if you don't have, you just comment me. I will tell you in comment whatever you want to know about Shakespeare. Okay. Restoration comedy begins with. This question number third is very important. The Restoration comedy began with most of the friends uh, have been choose the concrete, but the right answer is Ethigre. E T H E G R E G E. Ethigre. Okay. And the, now I will tell you complete about Ethigre. So, Sir George Ethigre. First complete name, 
सर जॉर्ज एथिग्रे वॉज एन इंग्लिश ड्रामेटिस्ट ही रोड द प्ले कॉमिक रिवेंज वॉट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट प्ले ही रोड द प्ले कॉमिक रिवेंज और प्ले लव इन अ टब इन 1664, so they can ask you, Love in a Tub is written by, it is written by George Sir George Ithigre. Okay. She would if she could. In 1668, this is also written by George Ithigre. She would if she could. In 1668, and the man of mode or flopping Fletcher, man of mode or flopping Fletcher in 1667. Okay. Three important work I have mentioned. Of Sir George Ithigre, first Love in a Tub in 1664. She would if she could in 1668, and the Man of Mode or Sir Flopping Fletcher in 1667. The occupation of the occupation of Sir George Ithigre is the playwright. He is a playwright poet and literary movement. Friend, if the question asks Sir George Ithigre. is related to which movement so he is related to liter he is related to english restoration movement so the, if the question asks sir george ithigre is related to which literary movement the answer will be english restoration comedy okay so let's move to the other question the four question is very important the author of the author of of the progress of soul soul is of the progress of soul is so the author is john dun so learn it as it is of the progress of soul is john dun friend i have mentioned here some unknown important work of john dun i you all might be not knowing about this so i have mentioned them and you have to just learn as it is and their publication date okay so the first work is the first anniversary and anatomy of world in 1616 11 by john dun so if the question asks the first anatomy as they have asked us who is the author of an anatomy of world the answer will be john dun the second anniversary of the process of soul 1616 16, 12 author is john dun john dun is also known for his sermons so he is also known for his sermons so i have mentioned some sermons sermons in 1614 50 sermons in 1649 as saint divinity divinity friend as saint divinity is very important they can ask when it is published so it is published in 1651 and by john dun okay letter of serval person of honor this is if they ask who is the author of letter of serval person of honor the answer will be John Donne. So, last sermon was published in sixteen sixty one. The last, if they ask, the last sermon of John Donne was published in. The answer will be sixteen sixty one. Okay. So, question number five. When we go to the question number five, is Doctor Johnson's the life of poet is an example of. So, Doctor Johnson's the life of poet is an example of biographical criticism. so this is the example of biographical criticism life of the most eminent english poets 161779 to 81 1779 to 81 alternatively known by the life of the poet is a work by samuel johnson comprising short biographies and critical appraisal of 52 poets so if they ask if they ask in lives of the poet dr johnson has criticizes or written the biographical criticism of how many poet the answer will be 52 poet how many 52 so most whom lived during the 18th century so the most of the poets were from 18th century these were arranged approximately approximately by the date of birth so they were arranged by and i have a big surprise for you all the surprise is that the name of 52 all the writer i think no one are, no one going to provide you these writers all 52 writers name and i have take the important one but as i said in the starting of my uh, video that sit with your pen and notebook being a literature student you should know all the 52 writers name so the important are i am mentioning important one abraham cowley john milton samuel butler is for you dibras and john wilmot all of rochester edmund waller charles sackwell all of torrest john dryden joseph addison william concreve thomas tickel 
Jonathan Swift, Alexander Pope, William Collins, Edward Young, Mark Akenside, Thomas Gray. So these are the important I have picked them. But what I said, being a literature student, being a net student, as in depth we can read, we will read. So these are the 52 poets name. I hope you will be writing and learning them. So next question is, name the Picario, Picarious novel with female Picaro is. The Picario novel with female Picarios is first. Today I am going to clear you who don't know about Picario novel. So the answer is Mole Frender. The Picario novel with female Picaro is. Picaro and Picario. Both the thing I am going to correct. First learn the answer. Mole Flanders. Now. Picario novel is what? Sorry. N O V E L is missing. Friend writing mistakes means I always done something. Is a journey of prose fiction. It depicts the adventure of rough. Roughish but appealing hero. What? Who lives by his wit in a corrupt society. What is the Picario novel? A story, a novel, a work, a drama who deal with the person who live by his wit in a corrupt society. This is called Picario novel. Okay. And who? what is Picaro? Picaro is the central uh, central character of the poem. Main Main protagonist of the poem is called Picarum. Okay, so let's talk about Mole Flander now. Mole Flander is a novel by Daniel Defoe. So friend, they can also ask, UGC keep on asking questions on Daniel Defoe. They can ask who written, who is the writer of Mole Flander or they can give you in match. So you have to learn that Mole Flander is a novel by Daniel Defoe, first published in 1722. It purports to the True account of the life of entrepreneur Mole. Mole is a character, as I say, Picarum in the Mole, during her exploits from birth until old death. So this is the story of Mole, a girl, Picarum, a female Picarum. The story is dealing, exploiting his life from birth to death. Okay, so let's, author is Daniel Defoe, journal Picario novel. Setting, if they ask, what is the setting? So setting is England and Virginia colony 1613 to 1638. Okay, published in 1722. Text, complete name is The Fortunes and Misfortune, The Fortunes and Misfortunes of the Famous Mall Flander. Okay, I hope you will be getting my point. So next question number seven. The expression ancestral voice prohapsing war occur in the ancestral voice perhaps saying voice occur in so this occur in kubla khan so when i have mentioned the important line of kubla khan that they occur so how they occur well, five miles meandering with a mazy motion through wood and dale the scared river ran then reached the carnivores measureless to man and shank in Tumbled to the lifeless ocean, and mid these tumult, Kubla heard from far from ancestral voice, prohapsing war. So here in this line, as this is written by S. T. Coleridge, they are describing about they are describing about the Kubla Khan's place. Uh, this is a this is a place. So where he's saying he's making a doom. Doom means palace. He's making a palace for him, but. He listen a voice of his ancestor, means Purvajo ki awaj. And what they say, that perhaps in war, you are not for doing rest, you are for fighting, you are for the war. So, let's go in depth about this poem. The poem is divided into three, three pre-regular stanza. How it is divided? It is divided into three pre-regular stanza, which move loosely between time and place. So, it moves loosely between time and place, First stanza begin with a fanciful description. As I say, there is a description of the Kublai Khan, Mongol. He was a king of Mongol. Okay, he, this is a story about a king. Captain, so capital Zunado. So line one to three is the description. It describes as begin near the river Alf. So friend, river Alf is very important. We have to remain. Uh, we have to remember that. If they ask in question which river is described in these 
in the Kubla Khan. Name the river which is described by S.T. Coleridge in Kubla Khan. The answer will be Alf River. Which river? A L P H. Alf River, which passes through the cave before reaching a reaching a dark sea. So the opening line I have mentioned you in Zunadu. Did Kubla Khan a stately pleasure doom decree? Doom means what I said. Doom means palace. Okay. Where Alf the scared river run through can. Carnivores. Carnivores means carnivores, measureless to man, down to sunless sea. Mer, mer, carnivores means hills and cow, cave, which and what is the meaning of sunless sea? Mer, where the sun cannot reach. Okay. So Kubla Khan is a poem written by S. T. Coleridge, complete in seventeen ninety seven, published in eighteen sixteen. And I hope you all know the story behind it that uh, S. T. Coleridge take uh, S. T. Coleridge was taken a theme. Afim, this poem is written in the addiction of Afim, where he read about uh, Mongol king Kubla Khan and slept. And when he got up, he was he was seen a vision in vision. So I hope you all must be knowing in this, knowing about all this. So let's move to the question number eight. And this is the important point I have written for exam point of view. Kubla Khan. Okay. So to write in your notebook. Question number eight. The posthumously published novel of Jane Austen is friend. This novel I have discussed. Uh, I have discussed in my first video also, but I am discussing it again so that you all will. Ah, uh, you by discussing again and again, reading one thing again and again means doing revision. We just learn thing forever for it forever. So Northanger Abbey is a coming of age novel. As I say in my last video, coming of age means where the Poet or author is describing about central figure from life from birth to death. Okay, this is called coming age and a satire of gothic novel. In question two thousand four, it was asked name the satire gothic name a gothic satire satire of gothic novel by Jane Austen and the answer was Northanger Abbey. And in two thousand five, they has asked posthumously published novel. So. It was completed in eighteen zero three. The first of Austen novel completed in full, but was published posthumously in eighteen seventeen. Okay, the story concerns Catherine Morland. Friend M O R L A N D I have written concerning Catherine Morland is a central figure of for it. The naive young protagonist, her journey to the better understanding of herself and the world around her. So this is coming age novel. In this novel. We talk about uh, the Jane Austen talk about Catherine Morland from birth to the adult age story and how he deal with the world. So another option was important. This was option of this, and this is important for us. Mansfield Park. So friend, Mansfield Park is a third published novel by Jane Austen. So the first question can arrive here, which is the third published novel by Jane Austen? The answer will be Mansfield Park. Published in July eighteen fourteen, the novel did not receive any public review until eighteen twenty one. Okay, so the novel. Now I tell you little summary about it. The novel tells story of Fanny Price. So the question will come if they ask the question, which novel of Jane Austen is telling a story about Fanny Price? The answer will be Mansfield Park. Okay, a story when her overburdened family. When her old Obed Burnett family sent her at age ten to live in the household of her wealthy aunt and uncle, following her development into adulthood. So this is about Mansfield and Northanger Abbey, and these two options, Emma and Sense and Sensibility. Friend, you can watch my previous video in which I have discussed in two or three pages this very clearly. I have discussed. So come to the question number nine, Kyle's starter. Restarters. I have discussed this question also in, in last video in two thousand four. Also, this was asking. Uh, this was not asking. This was given in the options as we discuss the options, so we know about it. So, trial starter restarters means the trailer retailer. The meaning is the trailer retailer. So, what is the meaning? The meaning is the trailer retailed. Oh, well, sorry, I opened with this. Wait a minute, huh? We was in there, so I can just zoom with this. So starter restarters meaning the tailor retailer is an eighteen thirty six novel by Thomas Crail, 
first published as a serial in Fresher magazine. I told you in last video also. First, first published serial in Fresher magazine in novel 1833, August 1848. The novel portraits means the novel purports to be contemporary of thoughts of early life of German philosopher. Friend, the name of German philosopher is little uh, harder, but I am pronouncing it. Di Do Guinness Tufli Drock. Ah, uh, please learn it. Author of Tom entitled Clothes, the Origin and Influence. So, if the question came that the Krile Starters retas, Restartes is a is a novel or sorry is a novel dealing with the thoughts of. So, it is the dealing. Please learn this French name. Okay. And please, and we have learned that what is the meaning? The tailor retail it. Okay. So, question number 10. The character not created by Hardy is. So, the character not created by Hardy is Basti Trotwood. What is? And other create. The, uh, I have mentioned the other options which are created by Thomas Hardy. Please learn. Sweet, Sweet, Bridhead, Sweet, Bridehead, Basthis, Basthiba, Everdon, Thompson. So, these are three characters created by Hardy. Okay. Moving to the question number 11. I see how briefly I have explained this question. The poet who described poetry, the poet who described poetry inspired mathematics. Name the poet. Who, which poet has described the uh, poetry as a inspired mathematics? So the answer is Ezra Pound. Friend, one time my uh, one of my students asked me that, ma'am, Ezra Pound is female or male? <laughs> So, the answer is he is male. Ezra Pound is male. Many of you ask, ma'am, uh, what is he? Is a female or she male? So, Ezra Weston Loomis Pound. What is the name? Ezra Weston Loomis Pound. 30 October to 1855 to 1 November 1972 was an expatriate American poet and critic. A major figure in early modernist poetry movement and fastic collaborator in Italy during World War II. So they can also ask which poet was a fastic collaborator in Italy during World War II. So without any hesitation you are going to take Ezra Pound and other very important work of Ezra Pound I have mentioned. His work includes Repostis in 1912, Hughes, Selvine, Mulberry 1920 and his 800 page epic poem The Cantos. So, if they can ask which, what is the full name of 800 epic page poem, the answer will be The Cantos 1970 to 1926. Uh, let's know about more about this. So, Ezra Pond contributes, sorry, P O U N D S. Many of you found my mistake on uh, that spelling. The answer is P O U N D. As my hands work so fast. Pond's contribution to poetry began in the early 20th century with his role in developing. Friend, he doesn't coin, he developed, the, never forgot, developing imaginism and movement stressing presses to economy of language. So friend, I'm pausing this video here. Next question we will discussing in the another video. So till then, bye, tata. Uh, keep healthy, be healthy, stay healthy, eat well, drink water and keep on reading. Many of people are saying exam will be held on August. I don't know when exam will have, you all are questioning me ma'am, when will exam. So, I cannot make video in fake people like I, the question, uh, ZRF question is coming that now you can have ZRF, now you can have exams in August. I really don't know about all this. So, whenever will exam will happen, let's study. Let's solve our all PYQ before exam. Okay, bye. Have a good day.